Welcome back, everyone, to our theology series in our discipleship tutorials. I'm Mark. And I'm Scott. And we're so excited to talk to you about justification today. Now, Scott, justification by faith is one of the, the hallmarks of Christianity. It's one of the, the doctrines that separates the gospel from all the religiosities of the world. Amen. So why is it so important that we study it? Well, it, it is the study of accounting uh, people that are guilty, not guilty, or justified mm -hmm. before God. Okay. It's, it's, that's, that's the unique feature of, of the Christian, or, or we'll call it God's plan of salvation. Right is that it does not require works on our, on our part. It's something that God has done mm -hmm. in order to justify us and to make us just mm -hmm. before him. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So everyone else would say, I know I'm not in the right relationship with God. I have to do something. Yeah. My efforts, my works. Yeah. God says, you can't do anything. What I do through my son will make you right before me. Correct. Amazing. That's correct. Right. And so uh, you, can, you can look at that in two ways. You can look at that in the positive way mm -hmm. in, wow, I get to be justified uh, before God, and there's a way for me to become justified before God. But you can also look at it the other way. Mm -hmm. I need to be justified yeah. by, you know, I need to, uh, before God. Right. Because um, without justification, I am... I am outside of his, of his grace. I'm mm -hmm. outside of his, his will. Yes. And uh, it's not good to be outside the will of God. No, it is not. And we, we read that earlier. We've been saved from wrath, saved from God's punishment. Yes. So if we're not justified, all of that is upon us. It's on, it's on us. It's on us. So we, we can either, um, that can either, on my account, that can be on I can have it myself, or I can, or I can take my sin and and have it applied to Jesus's account mm -hmm. on my behalf, and and become justified. There you go, through Jesus Christ. All right. So let's look at what the Bible says about yeah. justification. Uh, how how are we made right with God? How do I become right with God? Right. Well, let's kick it off with, it's by faith. So. Romans 5.1 says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. So, so just for those that, that may not know what faith is, mm -hmm. how is faith defined? What, what is faith? For sure. And we'll look at it a little later, what true faith looks like in James. But it says that uh, it's a confession of helplessness. Um, yeah. There's nothing I can do. I trust in a person. Now, I'm not trusting just in an idea, but in a person. I'm trusting in Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to deliver me, to justify me. Yeah. So we had talked about grace in our previous uh, videos about salvation. Is grace part of justification too? Absolutely. So God uh, making us right with him mm -hmm. is his part he does he's the one that sent his son he's the one that forgives us yeah he's the one that saves us yeah and we've looked at a, a few of these verses before like in ephesians 2 2 8 through 10 um which says that's by grace we're saved through faith okay all right and how about uh in jesus mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh being justified in christ or by his blood where can we find an example of that for sure. Well, we can go to Romans chapter 5 again. Uh, in verse 9, it says this, Much more than having now been justified by his blood or his death, yes. we shall be saved from wrath through him. So because of Jesus' death yep. and him alone, we're saved. What about his resurrection? Does that have anything to do with our justification? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We just back up to Romans chapter 4, um, starting in verse 24. It says, it shall be imputed, or we should be made right with God, uh, to us who believe in him who raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised up because of our justification. So we know that Jesus rose from the dead so that he truly did, did save us from our sins yeah. and will rise from our graves one day as well. Amen. Amen. Well, that's fantastic. So um, one of the... Uh, 
One of the things that this justification produces is is forgiveness, yes. right? We've we've heard about forgiveness of sins, mm -hmm. and uh, just just sort of to to sort of uh, nail that down uh, in Acts chapter thirteen, verses thirty eight and thirty nine. Mm -hmm. We have we read this. Therefore, let it be known to you, brethren, that through this man is preached to you the forgiveness of sins, mm -hmm. and by him everyone who believes is justified mm. from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. Mm. And so there we find that, that part of justification is the forgiveness of sins. Right. So the law which we cannot obey, yep. that we've broken, God forgives us of right. our disobedience. Right, right. So how about, uh, is there a place where we can, where we learn about righteousness mm -hmm. being given to someone? Absolutely. There's a, a beautiful verse. You, you might have memorized it before. Um, if not, we hope that you, you put it to heart memory. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, starting in verse 21, it says this, for God made Jesus, who knew no sin, to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So there was Jesus took our place, died the death we deserved on the cross. So now before God, we're righteous. We're forgiven of all our sins. Um, when God looks at us, he, it's, he sees Jesus because he took our place, his sinless son. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. It is. It is yeah, amazing. It's wonderful. It really is wonderful. And we also have a, a, a scripture here that regards justification and eternal life. Mm -hmm. um, that's found in uh, the book of Titus, uh, chapter 3, verse 7, that says that having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Mm -hmm. And so we see that eternal life is, is part of the, the inheritance, if yeah. you will, of... Uh, of our justification, exactly. of being justified. Exactly. Yeah. So instead of inheriting eternal death, we inherit eternal life. That's amen. Beautiful. Amen. It's so good. Yeah. So there's some evidence as well, um, and we won't spend a lot of time here, but there is some evidence about, about the kind of works that, that we would do after we would be justified. Mm -hmm. So how do you know that someone, even yourself, mm -hmm. is justified before God? Right. And um, that's found in James chapter 2, verse 18, where James talks about um, works through faith right. or by faith mm -hmm. um, that occur uh, from being justified. After, after we have been justified, we're, we display works. Um, it's, it's not that we are trying to earn our way ever into heaven because mm -hmm. there's no way right. that we can be justified and we're going to talk about that here in just a minute. Um, but there are works that, that we would do, right? Exactly, yes. As a, like we read earlier in Ephesians, that we were created for those good works, not to get salvation, but because of salvation. Because of salvation. Mm -hmm. So, um, very good. You can find that again in James chapter 2, verse 18. Mm -hmm. So uh, some ways that we cannot be justified. Right. Right. Um, where can we find that we are not justified by the law? We can find that in Romans chapter 3 and verse 20, which says, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified in God's sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. So we can't be made right with God through our obedience, for our efforts. Now, what about... Uh, through, do we have any righteousness that we can boast about, that we can show to God? What about that? Well, that would be nice, but we, <laughs> it's too bad we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, God makes it clear that uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags. So if mm -hmm. we think that we're going to come to God in any, in any way uh, with our, you know, cheer, you know, and God's going to cheer for us for all of the great things that we've done, uh, to get ourselves into heaven and to be justified, forget it. Right. It's not going to happen. Um, yeah. No, and, and we can find that, uh, that reference in Romans chapter 10, uh, verses 1 through 5. Mm -hmm. And so, and also in Romans chapter 4, 
verses one through five. So, so it's it's God has made it clear mm -hmm. um, throughout the course of not just these these spots here in Romans, but pretty much all all through the Bible <laughs> yeah. that our righteousness is is not sufficient mm -hmm. uh, for us to be justified. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's insufficient. Correct. Now, what about say I have faith? Yeah. Um, but. I don't really live like a disciple of Jesus. I say I believe in him yeah. as my Lord and Savior, but uh, someone looks at my life and they don't see any difference between me and someone who says they don't believe in Jesus. What, yeah. what, what does the Bible say about that type of faith? Well, um, the Bible says that kind of faith is dead. Okay. That, it, that it's not a true uh, faith that, that uh, one would expect to, to receive from God. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's found in James chapter 2 verse 26 it says here for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead also mm. Mm. so so just like your body without your spirit right. would be a dead body exactly um, James is saying here God is saying through James that that your faith if it's not showing any works mm -hmm. uh, that's a dead faith exactly. it's not really a faith at all it's not a yeah. faith at all yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Great. So we've gone through a 30,000 foot view of what justification is. Yeah. What are the benefits? Um, how am I justified? Mm -hmm. How am I not justified? And to just sum up, uh, we're justified. And a good way to memorize it is by faith alone, uh, through grace alone, in Christ alone. Amen. That's how we're made right with God. Amen. And we hope that you will look at these scriptures. Um, we'll, we'll put up a, a slide again for you and a link in the description below. Um, with the scriptures we listed so that you can go back and review, review these for yourself. You know, um, as you were talking, it just occurred to me that there's, there's, this ties into, you know, being justified is sort of a legal thing. Right. Right? Exactly. Um, and, it, and it ties back to the character of God mm -hmm. that, that you could study, right? The holiness of God, mm -hmm. the justice of God. Exactly. Right? And uh, this, this, all of these sorts of things can be can be studied independently uh, in the Bible, and so um, just some food for thought. If you want to if you want to continue to look into everything that surrounds being justified before God, yes, um, there's there's a number of examples about it or of it uh, in Scripture. There so, is. Um, yeah. So so in your own studies, if you want to enjoy continuing down that road there's some other topics that you can look into so um, is there anything else you want to share I think that about sums it up uh, I just want to reiterate that th this is so important because if we don't understand we're, we're justified people yeah. as children of God uh, my, man that, that's, that's a game changer yeah. for, for everything so this is so important that we understand uh, what God's done for us in Christ amen, amen. So we can never get enough of this. Amen. So we hope it was a blessing for you. We are going to continue uh, looking at uh, different aspects of salvation. The next topic that we're going to look into is regeneration. Mm -hmm. So uh, hang on with us and, and uh, hope this was a blessing learning about justification. And we hope to see you in the, in, in the next video.